This is what you want. <laughs> Hello, friends. I hope you are doing well on this spring day. In this video, I'm taking you along a mini deep cleaning day in my life. I may turn this into a series as I work my way through my home to get the whole house in order. The Lord has actually been speaking to me about getting my house in order. I believe it's both a physical and spiritual call that he is impressing on the hearts of many right now. So I began with my home, getting it in order and stewarding to the best of my abilities what he has given me. Not shortly after the Lord spoke the word, get your house in order. A prophet from Ireland named Craig Cooney released a prophetic word stating just that. I'd like to read it aloud and release it here on my channel as well. But be sure to check out Craig's YouTube channel and Instagram for more prophetic words and insight. I find that he is very accurate. I will link all of his info below. This word was released on March 24th, 2023. It says... Get your house in order. More shaking is coming. A storm is brewing. You can feel it on the horizon. You can sense it in your spirit. You can read it between the headlines. It's as if we're all waiting on something, but we're not sure what it is. We're at a tipping point. The enemy knows his time is short. A massive shift is coming. Get your house in order. Examine your foundations. What are you building? Pay attention to your weak spots. Where are you exposed? Make an honest assessment of your vulnerabilities. Strengthen your structures. Shore up your defenses. Stabilize your footing. Guard against presumption. Stay grounded in truth. Get your house in order. Close all the doors that give the enemy access. Break agreement with any hindering habit. Come out from unholy attachments and unhelpful alignments. Remove anything that causes you to stumble. Be ruthless with sin. Live a life of confession and repentance. Keep short accounts with God. Give no place for the flesh. Only that which is born of the Spirit will endure. Get your house in order. The Lord has been testing the hearts of his people. This is a time to be sober-minded and alert. Don't ignore the signs. Don't miss the warnings. Face reality. Don't bury your head in the sand. Confront what needs to be confronted. Firm up your boundaries. Reset your priorities. Steward your finances. Manage your resources. Protect your key relationships. Posture your heart in humility. Get your house in order. Guard your heart. Keep your focus on what matters most. Avoid emotional overreactions to what you see and hear. Don't be distracted by false flags or fake news distractions. The truth will come out. Darkness will be exposed. There will be vindication. Discern what is right. Walk in truth, righteousness, and love. Keep on the narrow path. Don't turn to the right or left. Keep your eyes firmly fixed on Jesus. Get your house in order. 2 Kings 20, 
verse 1. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to him and said, This is what the Lord says, Put your house in order. Deuteronomy 5, verse 32. So be careful to do what the Lord your God has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Proverbs 4, verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Haggai, chapter 2, verse 6 through 7. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and what is desired by all nations will come. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord Almighty. Revelation 12, verse 12. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. Matthew 7, 24 and 25. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. I think we can all tell by now that the end is near. The world seems to get crazier and darker by the day. But as believers, we have our hope in Jesus Christ that He is coming once again. I encourage you today, it's time to put your game face on as a believer, to seek Jesus wholeheartedly, and to surrender all to Him. Father, I thank you today for every person under the sound of my voice, that you would make yourself known to them, that they may feel your comforting, holy presence in the room with them right now. I pray that you would give them a holy boldness that would begin to rise up within them, and that they would step out with love and courage to fulfill your call on their lives, that you would inspire them to get their homes in order. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching and have a blessed week.